What's up fellas, this is Jay and today I'm going to be teaching you how to take your Blackmagic Pocket Cinema camera footage, load them in DaVinci Resolve, and then export some proxies, then edit them in Premiere Pro. If your computer is too slow and you can't edit in DaVinci Resolve 10, this is the solution for you. Let's go ahead and get started. Before we get started though, let's change our settings. For some reason, DaVinci decided to change its ways and get rid of the master timeline and default settings. So I'm going to bring that back just because I really like that feature in DaVinci Resolve 9. And just follow what I'm doing right now and I'll explain to you what it does later on. So let's go to File. Let's go to Project Settings. Let's go to your Color tab. After that, uncheck Use Local, local Versions for New Clips and Timeline and click Automatically Match Master Timeline with Media Pool Apply. Press. Actually, I'm going to make this my default. Save as user default config, cancel, and I'm just gonna double check to see if it's still there. Okay, sweet. I'm gonna load up my footages, only three. Go to my edit window. Now, if you just use the DaVinci Resolve 10 default, you will not see this master timeline in here. You'll have to create a new timeline. But now that we turned it on, it's right here. I'm not going to do anything here because we're not going to edit here. We're going to edit in Premiere Pro. So all I'm going to do really is deliver the proxies. Right click the timeline here. Select all. EC setup none. Render timeline as is very important. You're going to click individual source clips. QuickTime. QuickTime DNX HD 1080p 36B. This is going to be really good for your computer. This should render fantastically without taking too much computer power. Render audio, of course, if you're doing dialogues. Go ahead and browse to your folder and just make it easy. Set as proxies, good. Nothing else should be changed, so I'm going to go ahead and render this queue and then start render, and I'll be right back once it's finished. All right, guys, so once we're done in DaVinci Resolve, we we'll render the proxies, let's jump to Premiere. Now in Premiere, it's obvious. Create your project, create a sequence, and import the proxy videos that we just made. And here they are. Bam. Now, we'll load that up to our sequence timeline and start editing. Edit away. I'm just going to make this really simple, you guys. But you'll get the point. Well, I hope you do. All right, so keep it, keep it, let's keep it simple here. Let's just do some crazy editing. All right, boom. File, save when you're done with your edit, and it's finished, man. You're not changing anything. You can't change anything because it has to be your final edit or else it's going to be really messy later when you do it this way. So file, export, Final Cut Pro. To DaVinci Resolve. Save. We're going to go back to DaVinci Resolve. Click our Edit tab. File. Import AF to DaVinci Resolve XML. Bam. Automatically set project settings. Automatically import source clips into Media Pool. Uncheck. Because you want to mess with the raw, not the one you rendered. Uncheck that. Press OK. So here we go. We have two timelines. We have the master timeline and we have the sequence timeline. Now, just for the sake of having, having to create many, many versions of this edit, you do not want to edit your sequence. You don't want to color your sequence. You want to color your master timeline with all of the footage that you had loaded up earlier because, because of this right here that I'm about to show you. Go to your color and make sure you're in the master timeline. Just go ahead and access the raw of this by going to BMD film. Then we're gonna change the timeline to sequence one. And you see that what we, the changes that we made in the master timeline also change in the sequence and it will change to another 
this just makes it so much simpler on editing all the video clips and it keeps the same color for different edits for later on you want to have a million other edits let's say you had to correct something and now you have to import a new xml but you want to use the same grading and this is the way to do it because and this is why we turn on that setting earlier because look if i go to match the timeline man i'll start grading okay yeah let's, let's add a lot on this one cool three lot lot yeah let's use the airy lot boom done right let's go to the sequence which where our edit is right this is where our edit is and it's already effect it's already affecting that right there you know and if you go to your edits you will also see that and that's why we turned that option on and not and i'm not sure why da vinci or black magic decided to not make that the default because that's just a sweet option there the master timeline and other sequences that it just trickles down and everything you make every change that you make here will also change in the other clips now now once you're done coloring here what you're going to do now is deliver them you're going to go to the well let's just go ahead for the sake of this so that everything changes let's just go ahead and uh do the raw for every single one of them and let's apply the and I'm just creating new nodes here by uh, Alt S, or you just add serial node. Let's just go ahead and do uh, just load them up so that you'll see the difference later. It's not just the same. Now, you know, I'm that's not a grade. That's just a starting point. But let's go ahead and deliver, and make sure you're delivering from your sequence and not your master, master timeline. Okay, so we got that there. Now we're gonna bring this back to Premiere for your final, that's it, your final export, whatever you want to do in Premiere, you can do, you can add stuff, After Effects, you can do all the visual effects after this right here. So we're gonna click on Easy Setup, we're gonna go Final Cut Pro XML Round Trip, click that. QuickTime RGB 10 is fine, whatever you wanna use, whatever your highest quality is, but I like 10 bit, so I'm gonna use that. Render, render Audio, obviously. We're going to click on set a proxy. Let's just say we're finished and we're graded. Maximum frames per second. Render each clip with a unique file name is very, very important as well. Let's see, just making sure we have all the same, we have all the good information. All right, so now that we're good with that, add job to render queue, start the render. Once again, I'll be right back when this is done rendering. All right. So now that we're done with our final color, color graded render, we're done with our render, we're gonna take this back to uh, Premiere for the final touches. And there's still gonna be individual clips, it's really cool. You go to edit, make sure it's in the beginning, file, export now, we're gonna export this. Let's go ahead and go to our e micro reel. And now we're gonna change this to 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 premier xml sweet now we're going to go back to premier click on file where is your import to premier and voila here are your graded clips with the LUT that we applied. Now, this is gonna be really slow because this is the 10, this is the QuickTime 10 bit here that we exported out. So that's why it's super slow. And that's the reason why this workflow is very important for people who have really slow computers is compare that slowness to this. Wait, I think it's just frozen, period. Oops, broke it. Okay, but I think my computer's just messing up, but you can see the difference later on by editing the a 10-bit DNG and editing a DNX HD codec 8-bit. But you can see that they actually match up in the timelines. And after here, that what you do here is you do your titles, your, your transitions, I mean your tran transitions and you do your After Effects, your visual effects, link them back here, and then you export to your YouTube, DVD, Blu-ray, and that is it. So I hope you guys learned something new today, and I'm sorry it took forever, but it is a workflow. It is 
how it's supposed to be. It takes longer and yours should take longer as well. 